Today, the dog food brand Milkbone donated a very special dog to a lucky young lady as part of its Canines Assistance Program. The program gives service dogs to people with disabilities. 41 NBC's Skylar Henry was at the donation ceremony and joins us more in the studio with more on the pooch and the family that's adding a new addition. And people who live with disabilities sometimes need a little help with their everyday routine. Rachel Nixon got a chance to meet a new friend today on Robbins Air Force Base. The young woman had been diagnosed with epilepsy and with the help of a furry companion, her days will be a little easier to handle. Rachel Nixon is like any other young person you'd ever meet. She likes to have fun and play Nintendo Wii. But there are times when the fun stops and she has difficulty doing everyday routine. That's because she suffers from seizures and was diagnosed with epilepsy. Milkbone, the dog food brand, wanted to do something special for Rachel and her family, so they introduced her to Henry. Henry is a spokes dog for the canine assistance program that provides service dogs to people with disabilities for free. Hundreds of families apply for a furry friend, but they may be waitlisted for up to five years. Military families would apply for dogs, stay on a waitlist two to three years, and then they get redeployed or they would move, which means they go back to the bottom of the list sometimes. J.D. Fennessy is the national sales director for the military for Del Monte Foods. Milkbone's parent company and says military families needed a little help to receive a dog. With Defense Commissary Agency and with Milkbone, we get 78 dogs a year, specifically for military, that we get them, we get them moved up the list of their only wait list maybe a year, maybe two years. Rachel's dad is a retired U.S. Air Force colonel and her brother is currently serving in Afghanistan. Her mom, Robin, has to constantly check on her to make sure she's okay, and she and Rachel say adding a new member to the family is going to be a big help. It would help me with my seizures. Will it make you feel better? Yes. I've never had a dog that big, so they're hoping to give her one of the larger dogs to kind of help with her balance. Well, Henry won't be going home with Rachel. His owner, Kevin, works for Canine Assistance and explains how she'll be able to pick out her own dog that will be trained to turn lights on and off open doors and also alert someone when she's having a seizure. And often in times, I would say that most of our dogs end up being able to anticipate seizures up to 30, 45 minutes in advance. And it takes about a year to train one of these dogs and once Rachel is paired with the perfect pooch for her, she and her new companion will be headed to a two-week canine assistance training camp in Atlanta.